going to show you how to pick up a dropped stitch. For my husband, using the Arna and Carlos yarn from Regia. And at some point going up the cuff here, I realized that I had dropped this stitch. Oh no! So, I need to fix that. I put it on a marker to keep it from dropping down any further. And now that I'm done the sock, I'm going to go back and finish it. All right, so to start, I can see that I have a couple of rows I can strand up this stitch. See, there's two. There's the stitch and there's one, two more strands it can go up and then it needs to be joined up here. So to start, I'm going to get out a crochet hook or I have these handy little tools that my sister gave me quite a few years ago. I have them in three sizes, so I will use the smallest size for this task. Okay, so I will take it off the stitch marker and put it onto the crochet hook. And now I'm going to ladder up these two ladders that are here. So there's the yellow one. And I will just pull that through this stitch like that. And then take the second ladder and pull that through the stitch like that. So I've gone up my two ladders. There's no more ladders. So now I have to attach it to the next stitch up. So I'm going to want to, what I'm going to do for that is take some of my contrast color yarn here, cut myself off a nice length of it, and put it on a tapestry needle. Okay. To start, I'm going to thread the yarn through the stitch and then take out the crochet hook. All right, so now my stitch is anchored on this piece of yarn. And I am going to try to do kind of like a duplicate stitch where I will go into the stitch above like this, catching the two bottom legs, draw that through, and then come back down into my stitch. And I'm going to draw it through to the back. And then I'm going to take this other leg, the other end of the yarn, and also draw that one through to the back. Okay. So now on the front, you can barely tell, you can't even tell, actually, you can't even tell where the drop stitch was. And the only thing I have left to do on the back is to weave in my ends. So here on the back are my ends. Let's draw this up a little further. Here we go. So put this on my needle. And then weave this end in. I'm going to take it over to the side. I'm going to take the left one to the left side and the right to the right side and then just weave them in however you would normally weave in ends. So I usually go back and forth a couple times and then up through the rib a little bit.
Well, there's the one side, and we'll do the other side. Okay. So I will take it, in this case it's next to a knit stitch, so I'm going to duplicate over to the next rib, and then just take it through the rib a couple of times. And then go up the rib a little bit. Snip off my ends. And now it's tidy on the back. And there is no hole on the front. Mission accomplished. Thank you. Have a great day.